Hey Mini Chatters, this is Pat and I'm going to show you how to inject dynamic data into your bot from your uh, ref URL grow tools. So ManyChat just released this feature which is really really cool and it allows you to send data into the bot and then set that data to a custom field. Now that's really awesome but there's a little bit of a problem. What if I have more than one custom field I want to put data into? Uh, they don't have any way to do that and uh, I've written a script that will actually cover that pretty nicely and let me show you what it can do. So uh, the reason you'd want to do uh, dynamic data into uh, the bot or send dynamic data into the bot is let's say you want to send in a tracking ID like an affiliate ID or let's say I want to pass somebody's email in from uh, an HTML form or somewhere else and if I can send in, say, a person's email and phone number, I don't have to ask for it in the bot. So uh, a good example of this is let's say uh, you have somebody on a sign-up form and you're getting their name, their email, and their phone number, and they're going to get a, a PDF for a, a video case study or something like that. Well, if you have your uh, autoresponder configured properly, the autoresponder can take the data that got posted from the form and actually apply attach it to the URL for the thank you page. And then once we have that, we can actually format that information and set it up in the ref link. And once they click that ref link to send it to, you know, send a, a, the message to a messenger, then it'll actually grab that data and stuff it into the bot. So a little bit weird, but let's, uh, let's see how this works. So up here you see, I'm just using this like this is a sample page here off my desktop but let me put in my name and I'm gonna put in I don't know um, Pat at brain oops, sorry brain trust interactive oh my gosh I can't type today and my phone number I'm gonna do just a fake phone number and so let's say I'm gonna fill out that form so I click the ad, click on the landing page, and then I get to this and it's gonna say, great, send to messenger. Now this is just a, a, a link that looks like a button, but if you look at the bottom of the page there, it looks like it put all my email and my phone number and everything into the link. So if I click this link, what happens is it goes to my bot and it launches the bot. Now. Normally it would display the information, but you'll see here that there's no get started button or anything like that. There's currently a bug in Facebook that on Chrome browsers, the, uh, the get started button doesn't show when you come in off of a ref link. So um, I had to create kind of a keyword to uh, trigger the, the block that, uh, that we came into. And so um, dynamic ref. And if I type that keyword, it will trigger the flow and it says, haha, there you go. And of course it did it twice because it was already backed up. But you can see that it took my email address and it took the phone number that I entered and it injected it into the bot. Now at no time uh, when I filled out the form or anything did I actually click from the bot or in the bot or anything like that. I was able to inject that information right into the bot. So let's look and see how we can set that up. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here to ManyChat and you're going to need a pro account because uh, it does use the uh, external request card and uh, that is on the pro accounts only. So the first thing you want to do is you want to come over here and make sure that you set up your custom fields. Now I have a lot of custom fields in here because I'm building out a really big fat template for everybody that's coming soon. But you'll notice here I have a custom field called dynamic underscore ref. We need to create that that has to exist and you want to save it uh, as a text field. Now you also have to make sure, here's a little caveat, when you send information uh, from a ref link into the bot, the custom field has to exist. If the custom field doesn't exist, the bot will throw an error and then you have all kinds of problems stemming from that. So um, we're gonna just be sending an email and phone. So I created an email field and I created a phone field. So there we go, those are both created. And once you have your custom fields created, you can go over to the growth tools. Now, I created just a uh, ref URL growth tool. What you do to do that is you come down here and you create a messenger ref URL. So um, once I've done that, I can come over here and um, I can edit my information in the uh, 
uh, or I'll, I'll edit the uh, uh, the text and everything later. Let's go ahead and set up the link. So the messenger link, you want to come over here and set it up to send uh, a ref parameter of Dyne ref, D Y N capital R E F. So that's short for dynamic ref. Okay, and so your messenger ref URL would look like this, kind of like your page, and then have ref equals Dyne ref. The next thing you do is you'll notice that this is brand new. Minichat just added this, and it says save, save payload to a custom user field. So I want to create that, uh, actually save it to that dynamic ref custom field. Once you've done that, you can turn it to active and save it. Now, I want to go over here to the flows, and I'm going to go to that uh, uh, dynamic ref flow that I uh, created here, and this is coming right off of the, the uh, ref URL, and I want to edit the flow. And what I need to do is actually post to this link, and the link is braintrustinteractive.com slash minichat, oh, slash minichat, slash scripts, and then the file called parse-refphp. I have an instructions uh, HTML file, a little web page that has all these links in it and it has specific instructions as well, but I thought I'd just go ahead and cut the video for you. But um, that is the link that we need to post the data to. So once we get the data into the bot, we need to post it back to this script so it can actually break it up and save it to the proper fields. So when we're gonna send the data, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here to the body and you want to add full subscriber info and you'll see that there's all the subscriber info and that uh, it'll in include uh, the dynamic ref and you can see that that's what we passed in before right so um, that will pass the information and then it will save it so um, once you've done that you put in the uh, the full subscriber information and you put in the link to the uh, the post or to the script that'll uh, split up the fields Go ahead and test the request just to make sure it's good. And it will post and get a response. And once you've got a good response, you can go ahead and save it. Now from here, once you've split up the uh, the, the fields and all that, you've saved them as custom field values, uh, you can do anything else you want. You can, you can move on to a new flow or, or do something else. Uh, that's entirely up to you. Whatever you do after you uh, come into this ref is you know just it, that's all your option you know whatever the bot's going to do you can do it now you just have your custom field set so in this instance i'm just showing proof that um i'm parsing the email and the phone and that's it now i could actually come down here and say continue to another step and then come over and go to a different flow or something like that um, in this example i'm not going to do that we're just going to show what happens with the uh, custom information now, once you've got your bot set up, you're completely set up, all you need to do after that is um, go over here and we open up the thank you page. The thank you page is going to actually include your uh, dynamic ref. And this is, you can see that this is just uh, the link here that we set up a minute ago. So it's going to my bot with the dynamic ref. And anywhere that this is uh, on your page will get populated with the data that comes in through the URL. So um, I can send in uh, you know, any kind of information and it will always parse it. So I don't have to send an email and phone. I can send in um, email and birthday and it will split those up and set those fields. Or I can send in, you know, um, birthday and favorite color. So as long as I, as long as the fields exist in ManyChat, then this will actually, uh, you know, populate the link with the, uh, the fields all set up so that it can actually split them out. So you create your, uh, your growth tool, your, uh, your ref URL, you put the link in your web page, and then you, all you have to do is just include this little bit of JavaScript, and that is also in the zip file that I'm including in the file section. And once that's done, uh, it will actually populate the link. So let's go and look and see what that looks like. So um, that link you'll see, um, let me inspect it and I'll show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like once the page actually uh, populates with the uh, URL information. So you'll notice that here's the URL up here. It's got all this name, email, phone, and all that up there. And then you'll see it actually 
populates down here as part of the dynamic ref. So if I click that, it goes into the bot. So let's try it again and let's go and put in a different name and go um, Bob. And it's not gonna overwrite name or first name or last name because a lot of those are reserved fields in many chats. So we're not going to be changing any of that out. Uh, so it'll ignore that. So, um, but let's put in email Bob at Bob.com and let's put in a number like that. It's just who cares and then we'll save it. Now you'll notice that here's the data again and then the link is reflecting the exact information and we'll send it into the uh, the bot and since we're on Chrome oh, there it goes uh, so there he goes you see the, the email you passed in is bob at bob.com and there's the new phone number so you can see how you can change that data with a ref link that's super super easy to do so uh, there you go um, we have um, a full set of instructions here in the zip file as well uh, everything that you need to set up this script and be able to start uh, injecting data into your bot with a custom field thanks to ManyChat. So I've been asking that for that uh, for a long time and I'm really glad to see that they've done something with it. Um, hopefully they'll do the same thing with uh, the uh, send to messenger button which would be really really cool. Anyway um, there you go if you got any questions uh, my name email down here at the bottom of the page and the instructions and uh, hopefully you can uh, make some use of this video and uh, let me know what you think. Thanks.